Hello and welcome to The Main Cave. Now in today's video, I'm so excited to be able to talk to you about what has become a mainstay in The Main Cave. Right, I love it, I can't game without it, and I can't wait to hear your thoughts on it. So if you're new here, we make regular videos on gaming and technology for your smart home, so please do subscribe as we may make a video to make your life easier and I wouldn't want you to miss out. So do hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. So here we are then, this is the Psycon 2 Black Edition. And if you don't know already, what it is, it's a gaming desk for your sofa. But it's way more than that, way more than you'd think. Now normally I'd spend the next few minutes explaining everything about the product, all the insides and outs, but instead I want to crack on and explain why I love this desk. So really before, instead, here's a short bit about what it is. So it comes in a massive box and comprises of two armrests, a plastic tabletop, mouse mat, removable pockets, some cables and Velcro. Now while sat on the sofa, you put the armrests either side of you and the tabletop on top of the armrests and there it's built. The desk itself is 81 centimetres wide, 29 to 33 centimetres deep and 2 centimetres thick and it's made of hard plastic all over. The underside has two flaps. Unscrew these two and you can then add magnets to which I think is essential to keep the flaps from, well, flapping around. And once off, you'll see that inside in the middle bit, there's kind of like a USB hub. Now this is USB 3.0. And one side has two USB A ports and the other a USB type B, a proprietary and two more USB A ports. This side is for the included cable. So plug in the end with the USB type B and the proprietary end and you have a massive long thick quality cable to plug into your PC, but more on that later. The armrests are covered in a plush suede like covering and solid enough to lean on with it being very comfortable and very stable. They measure 60 centimeters by 20 centimeters and 17 centimeters high. Right, that's it then, on to my opinions on how it is and how I use it. Firstly, this desk is a cracking size. Plenty of real estate to accommodate what well, is a plate, a keyboard, a mouse, a controller, whatever you find you need at arm's reach. There are two USBs on the top front for easy access and two holes either side giving access to the four USB ports I showed earlier. The only cable from the desk is this whopping 5 meter USB and power cable, which means you can plug this into your PC and have a wired connection to your PC. If you don't want to have it connected to your PC but still want power, you can just do this just by plugging in the power port. That's it. But if you do plug it into your PC and you want it a wired connection, a mouse, you can and you can hide these cables using the underside USB or using the top two USBs. Either way provides a wired connection to your PC. So once set up, then you may want to accessorize it. So I get that and look what I've done. For starters, you get a small mouse mat included, but I also got the official Nerdy Tech mouse mat, which stretches over the entire desk. But you can just easily get a third party mat if you want to. Put the mouse mat on, plug it in, and feed the cable into one of the holes. Then once inside, there is a cable management system, which is basically a couple of poles to wrap your cables around, but this works really well to keep things nice and tidy. I also have my own phone holder. I use this to watch my phone while gaming and it clips on really nicely. Again, they do an official phone holder and a tablet holder, but I found this one works just as well. The main reason why I'm in awe of this product is simply the comfort. I find I'm always sat up with my armrest providing perfect stability for my elbows and the desk giving me somewhere to rest my arms when playing. I simply cannot go back to holding my controller on my lap. The desk, although it isn't stuck to the armrest, it holds really well. Enough friction for you not to sling it off easily and be attached makes it easy to take off when you want to get up. The pockets on the side I use for charging cables on my device. It's a nice little feature. Then when needed, just whip one out, plug it in, charge it. And then when done, back in the pouch. Simplicity at its best. As I said earlier, this particular model is the black edition. There are a few others on the website that have differing specs, so you just pick the one that suits you. But I guarantee they're all the same top-notch quality with genuinely useful features. So really, I love the comfort, I love the build quality, I love the features, but I better say some things I don't like as it's only fair after gushing over it for so long. I'd say really the only barrier may be the price. It's 180 euros or just over 150 pounds, which may put some people off. But for me, there is value here and it's properly worth it. 
but I can completely see this is a barrier for first time buyers. So as you can tell from the negatives, this thing really is worth it. As I said earlier, I can't game without it now. And it is a testament to how well Nerdicon has made this Psycon 2. How it's been designed, how it's been built and how it's been thought out. If you are after a sofa desk and you've got the room for here, I have a tiny sofa and it fits on there beautifully. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I've leave links down below where you can get hold of this. Please like, please subscribe. If you've got any questions, let me know. Till the next video. Bye bye.